Hey, Austin, what are we going to draw today? A hedgehog. Yeah, ready for fall. It's going to be dressed up with a little hat. Yes. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use a marker. You also need... Paper and something to go with. Yeah, are you ready to start? Yes. Let's first draw our hedgehog's nose right here in the middle of our paper. I'm going to draw an oval. Now let's draw our hedgehog mouth. I'm going to draw a little curve this way and a little curve this way. <laughs> now let's draw the eyes. I'm going to draw a circle on the left and also on the right side. Then we can also draw a little highlight or a small circle inside and then color in the big circle but leave that little one white. That makes the eyes look shiny. Yeah. And then we can repeat that same step on the right side, color it in. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, now let's draw our hedgehog ears. I'm going to draw a little upside down you there and another one over here on this side. Then in between, I'm going to draw a curve that comes down in the middle over the nose and then back up and connect to the ear on this side. Yeah, and then connect right here into the ear. Oh. Just like that. Yeah. You did it. Okay, now let's draw the body. And we're going to draw a really cute body. We're going to come down like this. And we're going to curve around a big U shape. Kind of looks like a pear. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to connect up to this ear. With the face. Yep, with the face. <laughs> and ears. Yeah. There you go. Keep going. Around. And... Connect to the ear. Now let's draw the arms. We're going to draw a sideways U shape on the left. And then repeat that same U shape but going the other direction on the right side. Now let's add two little lines for the fingers on our hedgehog paws. Yes, you know what I'm going to do? Just for Hadley and Olivia, but you could leave those off. <laughs> now let's draw the feet for a hedgehog. I'm going to draw an oval shape over here on the left and also an oval shape on the right. And I kind of tipped them too, so they're diagonal. Yeah, and then we could draw two more toe lines on each foot. What's our hedgehog missing? It's spikes. Yeah, it kind of just looks like a potato with a face <laughs> yeah. or a pear. Let's draw, let's draw the spikes on top of our hedgehog's head. I'm going to draw a little curve that comes out of the ear on both sides. Almost like we're going to connect it over to the other side. And then let's draw spiky little zigzags on top and connect in between. That looks like the hair. Yeah. <laughs> now let's draw spikes coming down on the left side. I'm going to draw a curve coming down and then we'll draw a little zigzag up and repeat that step all the way down. Yes, and then let's keep going until we get to the middle right here. Let's repeat that same step on the right side. We're going to start over here and we're going to go Draw a zigzag line that comes all the way down until we connect to the very bottom, like that. Now what's our hedgehog missing? A beanie. A beanie or a hat. Yeah, let's draw an upside down U on top of our hedgehog's head. <laughs> And then we could also draw a little pom-pom on the top. I'm going to draw a zigzag. You could just draw a curve to keep it simple. Oh, and then sometimes the bottom of the beanie or the hat is folded, so we could draw the bottom. <laughs> what else should we add to our drawing? Some leaves. Some leaves, yeah, so it looks like fall. I'm going to draw the stem first. Right here we could draw a curve. And then let's draw a V shape at the very bottom. And these are the same steps that we did in the sleeping fox for our leaves. I'm going to draw two little zigzags and then curve up to the top. A little curve up to the top. And then on the other side, draw two more zigzags and curve up to the top too. That's one way to draw a leaf. Let's draw another shape. I'm going to draw another curve for the stem. 
And then this time, let's just draw an oval shape. Let's draw another type of leaf. I'm gonna draw the curve this way. I think it's fun to change the directions of our leaves. This time I'm gonna draw a letter V or upside down V, just like we did for this one. But on this one, I'm gonna draw spikes going all the way up to the top and spikes going all the way up to the top on the other side. That's a simple way to draw three different leaves. Now this next part, we're gonna fast forward, but let's fill our page with more leaves and we can switch it up with all these different types. You could even draw different shapes too, if you want. Yeah. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. I like all of your leaves. It looks so much better when we fill in the paper. Yeah. Okay, now let's add an acorn. We can add lots of acorns. But let's first draw a letter U, and you can pick anywhere on your page. Then let's draw the top, we'll draw a line to connect. And then let's draw an upside down letter U or kind of a rainbow line for the top or the cap. And then we can draw a little stem coming out of the top of the acorn. Okay, let's fast forward again and add more acorns on our page. This time when you add other acorns though, you can change the direction. See, this time I'm gonna add it turned like that. That kind of looks like a UFO. Oh, it does. <laughs> Maybe there's an alien inside. Yeah. Okay, let's fast forward again. Awesome, we did it. We finished drawing our cute little hedgehog. Except we still need to color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward, but at the end you could pause the video if you want to match our same coloring. Or you could color it any way you want. Yeah. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Thank you, Austin. I love your hedgehog so much. Thank you. And I love all of the leaves, and I think it would be cool if our art friends added even more details. Yeah. I added a little cup. Maybe it's full of hot chocolate. <laughs> Pumpkin spice hot chocolate. And I also changed the beanie color. I love your little hat. It's cute. We hope you have a lot of fun drawing the hedgehog. And we hope you take time to color your drawings. And we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.